everybody, Tori here from Literary Gladiators, and before I start today, I just heard the funniest joke. Okay, so let's see if I can remember how it goes. Um, okay, so a panda bear walks into a cafe one day and orders a sandwich, and he goes to sit down with it, and... Oh, you've heard this one before? Shoot. Well, the punchline of the joke is the title of today's book, Eats, Shoots, and Leaves. It's a book by Lynn Truss, and it is a very particular book about punctuation and the usage of it, or the lack thereof, today. Um, it's a really fun book. It's a very tongue-in-cheek exploration of the evolution and history of punctuation. Um, there's a lot of fun things in here. It's very educational, and there's not too much else besides that, but it's a really good book. It's a really fun, quick read, and uh, you can learn things like why the comma is used and the apostrophe is used, specifically in Shakespearean text. So, um, also, what an interrobang is, because an interrobang once was a very handy punctuation used in um, the English language, and sadly no more. So um, check it out, it's Lynn Truss's Eats, Shoots, and Leaves. Um, I think this is the 2003 version of it. It was a New York Times bestseller, and for good reason. Now, there is a spiritual uh, follow-up to this. It's called Talk to the Hand, which is a book about um, manners in modern day uh, the modern day society that we have. And um, if you've read this book, I'd love to be able to hear your comments. If you read something similar, uh, comment and sound off in the discussion below. I'd love to hear that because uh, this was a really fun, quick little read. Um, I'd love to be able to explore anything else that she's read. And as always, uh, we appreciate your feedback. What you tell us tells us that what we're doing is right. So um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, maybe hit that subscribe button. And um, I'm Tori, you're awesome. And keep reading guys, because if it's the written word, it's game. See ya.